looks new and white and smells just right. New white life boy, of course. Now, Groucho, our next guests are Leon and Shirley Silvers. So, folks, you come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome to you, Bet Your Life. Stay the secret word and take home an extra $100. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Now, which one is Leon? I am. You're Leon. You're obviously, you're Shirley, huh? And uh, are you uh, a very attractive young couple? Uh, you're married, huh? Yes. How long have you been married? Well, I've been married eight years. Uh -huh. And you, uh, how long have you been married? Well, I've been married uh, eight years and about four months. Oh. How is it you're married longer than she was? <laughs> Did you get married before you met her? Well, uh, maybe I had the idea first. Oh. <laughs> Well, it's usually the women that have the idea first. <laughs> now, where are you from, Shirley? I'm from Louisiana. Louisiana, huh? Mm -hmm. And whereabouts? Uh, Appaloosa, Louisiana. Oh, Lollapalooza. I used to play there. <laughs> are you from Lollapalooza, too, Leon? No, I'm from Memphis. You're from Memphis, huh? Yes. I've been in Memphis many times. It's one of my favorite cities. I used to play there in Baltimore at the Orpheum. Mm -hmm. They have a statue of me in the park in Memphis, you know. <laughs> underneath, yeah, it's true. Underneath, the, underneath this statue, it says, "If anybody sees this man, call the police immediately." <laughs> how, did, how did you meet Leon, uh, Shirley? I met Leon while attending Xavier University. I was taking music, and he was taking medicine. Why was he taking medicine? Was he? <laughs> Didn't he feel no, well? I mean, no, I mean, he was studying medicine. He was studying medicine. Yes, well, that's studying. quite a difference. <laughs> well, Leon, I assume you finally got together. What was it like on your first date with Shirley? Well, yes, was we it got all together. what uh, you anticipated? Well, I don't know I what you anticipated, was. but was it uh, <laughs> all that you anticipated? We got together. I, I, in fact, I recall when um, I walked up to the porch, she was sitting there waiting. Wait a she had Did you know she was uh, going to be on the porch? <laughs> well, no, I didn't know she was going to be on the porch. Oh. And she had... Um, you had met her before, huh? Yes, I had met her in school. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, but the, the interesting thing was she had a deck of cards and two magazines. <laughs> she was ready for anything. <laughs> I can understand the cards, but uh, what were the magazines for? Well, I guess if I had turned out to be dull, she would suggest that we read them. <laughs> Shirley, did you ever get around to reading those magazines? No, we didn't. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you finally got married and lived happily ever afterward. Do you have a family, Leon? Yes, Gretchen. We have six lovely children. Oh, really? Well, that's not nice. I guess you still haven't gotten around to those magazines. Huh? <laughs> We've been pretty busy. How large a family uh, would you like to have, uh, Shirley? Well, we've decided that seven would be just fine. Leon, do you have any confidence in this decision? Well, yes. In fact, I have to. This number seven is on the way. Anybody got smelling salts out there? <laughs> Now, Leon, what kind of work do you do to support these uh, potential seven youngsters? There's well, only six, really, right now. Huh? I'm a printer at Hughes Aircraft. You're a printer? Yes. What happened to your medical career? Well, <clears throat> we had a little difficulty, and the kids came along, and I had to give up school for a while. But uh, I only have 25 hours left on a bachelor degree, and I plan to get it as soon as I possibly can. And then you're going to be... Uh, a doctor? Well, no. I'm planning to get my degree in industrial psychology. Uh -huh. Well, how do you make a living in that? <laughs> well, industrial or public relations is uh, the basic field that you would work in. I have some private relations you could have if you'd like. <laughs> now, Shirley, does Leon help you around the house or do you walk around by yourself? Huh? Yes, he does. He helped quite a bit with the kids. As oh. a matter of fact, he uh, taught me to cook my first meal. Is that so? Huh? Why did, why, did you show her how to, why did you show her how to cook, Leon, if you're such a good cook? Why didn't you just go ahead and fix that first meal yourself? Well, I feel that uh, he who learns by finding out has sevenfold the skill of him who learns by being told. That's pretty good. I don't understand, but it's certainly sounds good. 
In other words, you mean that experience is the best teacher? Yes. Now, why did you put it in such high-class language? You were, <laughs> were you trying to just deliberately confuse me? <laughs> well, I'm confused no. enough sitting up here, you know. What about the chair? You don't need it? No, I don't. <laughs> does Leon ever come uh, up with these proverbs very often? Oh, yes, he does. He knows a lot of them. Oh, well, slip us another one, Leon. Something that you might casually toss off at Shirley when things get dull around the house. <laughs> well, if I come home and say the uh, house is just half cleaned, mm -hmm. I would say, <clears throat> if a task is once begun, never leave it till it's done. Be the labor great or small, do it well or not at all. Then you get your... <laughs> then you get your hat and coat and go out, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, that's, a, that's a good one. What was that, the last part of it? Do it well and not at all. Yes. I must remember that. I'm going to try it on my cook. <laughs> Let's see now. If a task is once begun, how does the rest of it go? Never leave it till it's done. I'll try it tomorrow morning. The first thing she'll do is hit me over the head with a coffee pot. <laughs> Shirley, uh, did you ever do anything with the musical training that you received in college? Uh, do you still sing? Yes, I do. Uh, as a matter of fact, our whole family sings. Oh, and we get like, quite a kick out of it. You mean it's like the Trap family? You mean the... Yes, Leon has taught the kids full part harmony. Really? Huh? Mm -hmm. Is this true? You taught all the youngsters to sing harmony? Yes, Groucho. I was surprised at the speed at which they caught on. And uh, well, then we found be... a unity in uh, singing together. Oh, that's lovely. What kind of songs do you sing? Rock and roll, spirituals, classics, or what? Well, we sing all type music. However, we have more fun singing our originals. You write these yourself? Yes. I've written quite a few. It's a bad time, huh? Well, I'd like to hear you sing one of these original songs. Could you do it now? Well, uh, just by chance, I brought the whole family along. Really? Take Shorty here. Come over here, Shorty. He's pretty sleepy. Yeah. Now you sit right here and behave yourself. Remember, this is the only suit I've got. <laughs> now then, uh, could you name these for me uh, and the ages? Let's start with uh, Shorty here. Huh? Yes, he's one. He's Edmund. one. Yeah, I know he's one. <laughs> I know he isn't twins, but what's his name? This is Joseph Pritchett. He's one years old. And this is Edmund. He's three years old. This is Jonathan. <laughs> He's four years old. And Charmaine is five. Leon the third is six. And Olympia is seven. Oh, that's a lovely family. <laughs> there seems to be a year missing there. What happened to two? There isn't it. <laughs> Shirley, if a task is once begun. <laughs> Say. Well, we'd like to do the gopher cha-cha for you. The gopher cha-cha. Do yes. you need help from the orchestra? Well, no. I just accompany them on the concert. You wouldn't get much help from this orchestra, <laughs> anyhow. <laughs> well, um, this is a little song that uh, there's a play on the word gopher. It's uh, you mean about you a go girl. for me and I go for you? <laughs> is that? Not quite. It's a little girl who has to go for coffee and go for papers and go for this and that for father and mother around the house. I see. Right. And you wrote this yourself? Huh? Yes, I wrote and this. And uh, what inspired you to write this? With the, you always had the kids running to the store? Yes. <laughs> oh. Well, tear loose and let's have it, huh? Yeah, yeah. And you too. You, I want to hear some singing out of you, old boy. <laughs> That's okay. No, boy. Boy, huh? boy. La. <laughs> la, 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 la. La, 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 la.
Joining up with them, I'm going to quit this job. Yeah. <laughs> now, Leon and Shirley, you've not only raised some wonderful children, but you've got a ready-made crew of very talented entertainers. Do you plan on going into show business with them? Well, no, we hadn't planned to go into show business. We just do it for our entertainment. Oh, well, that's very nice. But my guess is you'll have your own TV show in no time. <laughs> and I have only one request. With talent like that, please don't appear on the air opposite me. Huh? <laughs> I have enough problems now. Okay, now let's see if you can win some money. It's a pretty good idea. Your expenses are heavy, and I imagine some additional money would be welcome. Kids, you can help out the old folks if you can. George, what category have they chosen? Excuse me. Um, you selected observation quiz as your category. Is that right? Yes, we did. All right. Do you understand how to play the game? Do you understand this game? <laughs> huh? He doesn't understand. <laughs> well, you see, the easy questions are $100. These are a little tough. Do you folks understand how? Yes. Okay. Uh, the, the, the real object is to get, uh, I got your head there, uh, is to get, get $500. $500 in four questions. So uh, would you pick a question now? <laughs> $100. Now talk it over before you answer. You know your partners. Okay. How many tines, T-I-N-E-S, does the standard dinner fork have? Five. He doesn't care for that at all. Five. How many? Uh, no, it says four here. Well, you still have uh, three more chances to uh, get to five hundred dollars. You're going to uh, have to sharpen up. Choose another here, one. Kid. Go for two hundred this time. You read it. <laughs> How many rows of keys are there on a standard typewriter? How many rows? Five rows. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's four. Well, you're not doing well, very well <clears throat> at this game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there are two more chances to make five hundred dollars. This one's for three hundred. How many stamps on a standard sheet of stamps? One hundred. That's right. Yeah. Well, you now have three hundred dollars as your last chance to make five hundred. So, uh, well, if you want to go that high, I certainly. Uh, <laughs> you understand these? These are the three hundred are harder than the two hundred. <laughs> they only need two hundred. You only need yeah. a two hundred. Do you uh, want to oh, change this in other for two hundred? Yeah. Huh? I'm certainly not trying to influence you, but... Uh, well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, like him, I'd like him to win about $8,000 here tonight. So pick a 200 That's it. Now, I'm, if you I'm get this one, here tonight. you'll have a chance at $10,000. Yeah. <laughs> How many keys are there on a standard piano keyboard? Now, you ought to know this. 88. 88! Right. Any 
anyhow, you wind up with five hundred dollars. Which means which that you can come back and for a chance at ten thousand. Big money later. at the end of the show. Yeah. Goodbye, Shorty. <laughs> So the uh, Silvers family will be back in just a minute with a chance to win $10,000. Just a moment, Joe. Just don't relax. You've got an important job to do for Geritol. And now, George, we have the wheel here. Let's see if anybody's going to win $10,000. Leon and uh, Shirley Silvers earn $500 Leon in the quiz. Leon and Eddie, isn't it? Huh? Oh. No, Leon and Shirley Silvers oh. earn $500 in the quiz, so they can come back and try for two, five, or ten. Let's see what happens. Come in again, folks, please. Good luck to you. Well. <laughs> Congratulations, and remember, if you miss the question, you still get to keep everything you've earned so far. Okay, now pick a number for a total of $10,000. Five. Five, George. And the Three. boss? You are the boss, <laughs> huh? Three. Three. Now, if any other number comes up, the question is worth a total of $2,000. Whatever you win is your total for the night. Okay, one of, you, one of your family, spin the wheel. Your numbers were five and three, and it came on uh, nine, so this question is worth a total of $2,000. In the 1956 elections, the Democratic presidential candidate was Adlai Stevenson. For $2,000, who was the Democratic vice presidential candidate in 56? Talk it over. All right, shout it out. This was, I say, a Tennessean, Estes <laughs> Key Falls. You're absolutely right. <laughs> That's right, you win a total of $2,000, and I can see number eight on its way now. <laughs> huh? Bring all the kids out, huh? Wait a minute, I have an idea. Next week is Christmas Eve. Can you come back then and sing a Christmas song for us? Yes, we would like to very much, and I think we can get something together. Fine, and I'm delighted. What are you going to do with all that dough? Well, we plan to pay for number seven. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and then uh, put a down payment on number eight? <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations to all of you, and thanks for being here tonight, and I'm glad, delighted, that you won the money, oh, because wow. you're such Thank nice people. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night until next week, and no matter which of our products you buy, tell them Groucho sent you. Tonight, You Bet Your Life has been brought to you by Pepsodent. Whether you smoke or not, Pepsodent cleans your teeth more effectively, polishes more protectively than any other leading toothpaste. And by Handy Andy, Lever Brothers' new all-purpose liquid cleaner for your toughest household cleaning. It's murder on dirt, but nice to you. Christmas seals work now and through the year to help protect each of you from tuberculosis. Answer your Christmas seal letter this week. Be sure to catch the fun and excitement every Wednesday night over most of these same stations when Lever Brothers brings you The Price is Right, starring Bill Cullen.